Hello, this is Irfan Zardat Khan from Javelin Technologies. Today I will be showing you how you can compute reacting, reaction moments when using solid elements. So first of all, let's take the example of a beam structure. I have already run the simulation. Uh, it's fixed on one end. This is a beam type element analysis. Uh, there's a force acting at the top or, and the force is 100 Newton. The length of this is uh, 0.1 meter. So I expect a reaction moment on this joint of 10 Newton meter. So let's go ahead and look at that. So choose the list result force option. Uh, choose that joint. Hit update and there you get it over there. You will see there as well and you will see in this table I have a resultant of 10 Newton meter uh, moment which is acting in the Z direction or which is pointing outwards from the screen okay great now let's go back to solid elements now a major difference between beam elements and uh, solid elements is that beam elements have six degrees of freedom they have three translational and three rotational degrees of freedom. So by restraining the three translational degrees of freedom, I get the three resultant forces. By restraining the three rotational of degrees, of, uh, three rotational degrees of freedom, I get the reaction moments. For solids, I have only three translational degrees of freedom. So let's try that. Let's try doing the list result force in this case. So once I pick that face, I hit update, what I get are the three corresponding forces because there were no degrees of freedom, there were no rotational degrees of freedom restraint. So technically the joints have uh, no reaction moments. But in real life there there is a moment created as a result of those forces. So if I did want to know those, so there's a second option over here rather than reaction force, the free body force. So the moments in this case act as free body forces, but I have to select a point about which that moment is calculated. The point can be created at the geometric center of the face on which the fixture is applied and let's click the face again and now when I hit update there you have it I not only see the three forces but I also see the three components of the moment of course in this case it's only the 10 Newton meter moment in the Z direction or uh, normal to the uh, screen in this case and that's the way you can get reaction moments if you are working with solid elements. Uh, now let me quickly show you how to create that point over there. So this point was created using a create point uh, as a reference point and I said create the point on the center of that face. So that will find the geometric center and create that face. Okay so Basically that is how you can go and find reaction moments for solid element type analysis.